Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how we can append the data from multiple Excel workbooks when we have the same table names. So that's the assumption which we will carry in this entire video. Okay. So I have a folder and in this particular folder, I have four Excel files. You can see that January, February, March and April. So all these different Excel workbooks contain some data inside it. So I have opened this four Excel workbooks in Microsoft Excel just to give you first a demonstration that how the data looks like. So each of the file has four columns. It could be more than four columns, doesn't matter. Uh, so in this particular file of January, we have four columns and this particular data has been converted into a table format. And once you convert the normal data into a table format, it's converted into structural references where you can uh, edit this table properties as well. And every uh, structured data, uh, you can say that every table has, uh, has its certain name. So in the table design ribbon, you can see uh, the table name which is defined as a data. Okay. And if I go to, for example, in the April workbook, we have uh, the data here for the month of April and this is also converted into a table format and the name is same for that this table as well this is called data so I have four Excel workbooks and each of the workbook contains a data which is in a table format and the name of every table is same okay so this is the assumption which we will carry and append the data all together from different Excel workbooks into the Power BI okay so I hope you understood the data okay that each of the excel workbook has a table format data and, and the name of the table is same okay. power bi now i will click on get data and i will not click on excel workbook we know that we need to bring the data from excel workbooks but there are more than one excel workbooks so we need to basically select the common data source which is the folder okay so we will click on more here and it will open up a new window in okay from here we will select the folder and click on connect and paste the folder path or you can just click on browse button and locate that folder click on ok okay so now it's showing you a, a kind of a metadata a summarized information that what that particular uh, folder contains so there are four excel files uh, jan feb march april these are excel files when they were created when they were modified and some of the information uh, what we are required to do is we need to combine and load the data okay if you want to do certain changes before you need to load the data you can go with the first option that is combine and transform data which lets you to the power query editor but we are sure that uh, all the excel workbooks contain similar kind of columns and we just want to grab all the data from different workbooks all together uh, and we want to combine them uh, be, remember that based on a condition which we discussed earlier that all these excel workbooks contains data that are converted into a table format and the name of the table in every excel workbook is same okay but it might came in your mind that what if that table names are not similar so you will learn that in pq12 video uh, but here we have all things are structured so we will click on combine and load so it will take few seconds to read the data and evaluate the query on the back end and uh, within few seconds it will give us the output and we can cross check as well you can see that there is a combined files uh, dialog window here uh, in the sample file you have a drop down menu where you can see that you are bringing up four excel workbooks now for example in this particular situation we have the same pattern in each of the excel workbook right but for example in the month uh, in, in the february file you have six columns in the jan file you have just four columns so you need to select here uh, the base file uh, which you need to drive or you need to give the command to the power query to follow the pattern of that particular file okay now because here in all these four files we have similar kind of columns inside them so whatever the file you will select it will follow that particular pattern to append the data accordingly okay but if 
if there is a file which contains some extra columns you need to make them as a base file you have to select that file uh, in in the sample file area okay now one thing uh, we are sure that each of the excel workbook contains a sheet and a table and what we are trying to do is we need to basically fetch all the data from different excel workbooks and that table name is similar so you can see the data is being written here and this is a small icon of a table so whatever file you select here because the pattern is same in all the excel workbooks you just need to click on data because we need to bring all the data from a table not from the sheets okay and and that is very similar whatever the file you select from the top you can see the data as a table name right so we need to click on data and click ok and it will run on a backend and within next few seconds it will combine all the data from different excel workbooks into one so now you can imagine if you are an excel user uh, if you are a, a traditional excel user you need to again run vba codes or uh, something complex uh, but if you are a modern Excel user, you can use Power Query in Excel or you can use uh, Power BI within that. We have the Power Query tool available which appends the data from different Excel workbooks together uh, within few seconds. Okay, so now we have, we, we got the data here and if I go to the data tab, So we can see the preview of the data from here. Okay, so we, uh, if I open this drop down menu, uh, we can see that we have uh, data all together coming from the four files, Jan, Feb, March, April. You can see the month name here, right? Uh, the best part of this particular technique is that, for example, in the next month, um, we, we, have, we have just four months right here uh, if I make a copy of another for example workbook and if I rename that as uh, May so for example if a user fetches or exports some of the data uh, from a software and then that user puts that next month file into this particular folder uh, here we are taking the example of for the month of May so for example, if I go to the Power BI, I don't need to run all those steps which I did for the appending. I just need to uh, go to Home tab and click on Refresh. And now see the magic. What happens is here, we got our data for the month of May automatically appended in the Power BI. So that's the beauty. This means that every month when the user will put a new file into this folder and we just need to click on refresh button in the power bi the data will get appended automatically right and imagine that from this particular data set when you create some dashboards all those visuals or slicers will get updated automatically as well right thank you